So red develops constitutional monarchy, increases population, builds a alchemy, takes coal and architecture and patriotism, and adopts legion. Got a little stronger, has a full hand for now. Yellow. Upgrades to selective breeding, upgrades to uh, that <laughs> scientific method. Um, researches cavalrymen and upgrades twice, takes navigation. <clears throat> and blue plays revolutionary idea, develops cavalry, cavalrymen, destroys a bread and circus, and builds one. It takes selective breeding and rich land and organized religion and adopts phalanx. Interesting. Okay, so we are stronger than two of them, so I think I want to take a yellow token at this point. And now we have some choices. Uh, we had talked about this journalism thing for a while, so we can certainly do that. Get two culture and two science. It's a little expensive, eight resources, when we're not producing many resources. So we get two culture, two science, so it starts to fix the science problem we have. It doesn't help much with resources, but from here we could play reserves for resources, breakthrough, and then we have one action. I mean, probably get a wonder. I'm not really sure which one's going to be any good for us, though. So maybe Wave of Nationalism? I imagine we'll use that. So this is an option. Not bad. So we'd be catching up on culture a bit. So let's think about that one. Then we have, uh, so the railroad's here, you know, and engineering genius is here. So it, it seems like taking a wonder and engineering genius would be a good option in this situation. So the railroad plus engineering genius plus something, you know, at this point we have to make a couple of decisions. So we can do code of laws. We kind of use all of our science at that point. Then we take breakthrough because we need science, but we can't use it right away. I guess we could use it on selective breeding, which is on its way out. And we do need it. And that civil action would help us grab selective breeding. And then with one action left, we could either play reserves or take wave of nationalism. Next turn, we can engineering genius, selective breeding, research it, upgrade or finish this. We would have uh, 13, so it'd be nine resources we would use on this. We'd have four, so we could upgrade selective breeding once. So that's pretty good. Um, we probably won't get coal, but maybe we get oil. But it's hard to tell when oil would come out. So this would be get us two resources a turn for a while. So maybe in H3 it gets us, you know, 10 resources, 10-ish resources, and no culture the whole time. But it does get us five military. Um, five military never hurts. Okay, so that's an option. I think another option here is the Louvre. Take the Louvre, Engineering Genius. And then you kind of have the same questions. Um, code of Laws, Wave of Nationalism Breakthrough. Or you play Reserves. So a good harvest will come out here at some point. We'll get two food for it, so we'll have three. Um, but age will end and we'll need four to get it. So we'll need selective breeding, which I think we can get. Uh, red could take it, but they already have irrigation and they have other issues to deal with, and it will 
likely be in the three spot or possibly two. Yellow already has it. Blue already has it. So it's likely we'll get it. Here we have the science to get into it, but we're not improving our science situation at all. And we don't have much. So we would use all of our science. We'd get three back. So we'd have six after next turn. And we'd be looking, I mean, we can, that's enough to do journalism again. So we're back to being able to do journalism. But we wouldn't really have the resources for it, I don't think. We'd have basically four resources at that point. Unless we used our Louvre resources, and that is kind of dumb. But we do have the actions to grab more yellow cards with Code of Laws, which is nice. Um, you know, the other option, you don't research Code of Laws, you take Breakthrough, and then maybe in this situation you use Reserves instead of Wave of Nationalism. So I think those are the three options. You get right into journalism, but with engineering genius there, you kind of have to take a wonder, I think. Uh, one of these two action wonders, it just comes down to the railroad, which gets you military and resources. Um, assuming you get into oil, but getting into oil might be hard with our limited science. So yellow's looking for Bill Gates. We have Bill Gates, right? Yeah, Bill Gates. He's the only one, I mean, Steve Jobs, I guess, is also, would work with uh, upgraded computers, but no one else does in this situation. Well, Marie Curie, I suppose, as well. Would give a little military and some culture, depending on when she came out. So, uh, I guess that is this situation where we leave ourselves a little extra science. We break through into selected breeding and upgrade and go from there. The Louvre gives us, you know, the five culture. So we start catching up on culture starting next turn. But I don't feel super secure militarily right now. I, I feel like that's it's going to be a little greedy. It's going to be a bit of a stretch. The railroad, uh, I feel like, gets uh, is a little safer. Although, you know, we're kind of behind, so the culture might be needed. But I think with the railroad, let's see, how does the railroad help? You take the railroad, you get some military. Five. Uh, so you... It's also giving us resources, so uh, it helps with the resource situation. We can get Marie Curie potentially with oil and computers, depending on when she comes out. So it gives us a couple of reasons to get to oil with the railroad. Otherwise, fixing resource production is a little harder in this situation. Uh, so, the railroad's also, you know, an extra civil action to finish it, and we don't get to take full advantage of engineering genius. We already have two blue tokens with developed territory, which leans toward, like, the impact of storing resources on the Louvre is lessened the three blue cubes that stay there because we have two extra. It's just whether we think we can, it's just the Louvre doesn't help economy at all. And we're just way behind, well, we're behind on everything, honestly, but we're behind on all parts of economy. And the railroad helps with that just a little bit. Gives us a little ability to push through age three uh, versus trying to get the culture right now. I think there's we're not behind by that much. There's lots of opportunities to get culture. I don't think we need to do it quite yet with the Louvre. 
um, if we take the railroad and we take these two, we can play code of laws and wave of nationalism. So red would have to take the Louvre before it falls off. Yellow may have been in a position to take the Louvre here, but it'll it'll fall off. Uh, maybe they take the Statue of Liberty. I don't know. But here we 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 help secure ourselves a little bit on military, uh, and we help with our economy a little bit. Um, we can break through into selective breeding and upgrade. But we'll be finishing this, which will help us produce more resources, uh, which is good. Whereas the Louvre, we are a little more stuck with resources. So if we're grabbing cards with our actions, we can grab science cards versus having to grab science and military. I'm sorry, science and resources. Uh, so I don't know. I think we could go either way. I'd love to hear what anyone else thinks about this move, but I'm going to go with this for now. So we'll discard three. Again, I don't know that we're going to get into aggressions at this point. Infiltrate can be interesting. Maybe we'll leave that around. I mean, really, spy could be interesting because we don't have... Economic progress could actually be quite interesting. Uh, politics of strength. Let's just... I keep holding this historic territory like that's going to be something that becomes interesting at some point. Uh, we're about to lose this card anyway, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, all right, here goes. Uh, 